Good morning. So today I wanted to do a video of um, hygiene in your teeth, okay? In your mouth, <laughs> in your teeth. Do you have an issue or know someone who has an issue that even when they brush their teeth, brush their teeth, they still have it over to their breath, or it might be you. Have you ever considered the process of how you brush your teeth? Well, for me, I do oil pulling. I do oil pulling at least three days a week, and that is with a natural coconut oil, and I'll do another video on that. I want to get more straight to videos being how to, how to teach people things, because some stuff just to me, I just feel like is in vain, and I want to be here to teach and help people, because I've learned that a lot of people are coming to videos that, for me, I think it's simple things or things that, oh, I just know it or I've learned it, but everybody don't. Everybody does not know the same things or are not taught the same things growing up. Anywho, so when you brush your teeth, what is your process? For me, I rinse my mouth out first. I floss. I floss my teeth first and then I spit out, you know, rinse my mouth and spit that out. The reason why, how could you brush your teeth with this if you have stuff stuck in them and you're brushing it and just, just kind of going around it? So I like to clean out my teeth first. That way when I brush, it's going to get in between and clean those areas out. So I floss, then I brush, and I'll do a video probably of the step by step, but today this one is more so of, I floss that brush. Some days I brush with uh, coconut oil. Hold up. And when I say just a basic coconut oil from Dollar Tree, this is pure unrefined and it's only $1.25. It's very inexpensive compared to the coconut oils in the big box stores. So check out your local Dollar Tree. So I literally take this and I put it on my toothbrush and I brush my teeth with it. We'll talk about that in another video, why I do it and why I love it. Okay, so you still have an odor, right? So you brush your teeth, you rinse your mouth out. Some people don't even brush their tongue like they're supposed to. Like you're really supposed to thoroughly brush your tongue. Well, then after that, you're done. No. This is my next step before I'm completely done. You know what this is? This is a tongue scraper. I literally scrape my tongue, lay it this way because this is the way it scrapes and it'll grab whatever build that you have on your tongue. Uh-huh. And you scrape all around, all around. You go up, under, and you literally scrape and you will see stuff come off your tongue. Like white consistency stuff, you know? This allows you, if you get that funny taste in your mouth or if you feel like your food is not tasting the same, you may have a buildup on your taste buds. So you want to get you a tongue scraper. This is not sponsored. I've been doing this for several years and people that know me, it's a lot of people that know me, they're like, oh, I love your teeth. Your teeth are always looking clean and white. I care about my mouth, right? This right here is amazing. Get you one. I always consider anything stainless steel because it'll last forever and you can clean it and you can sterilize it with no problem. And it came in a two pack. Also, my baby girl, when she lost the one I bought her, her sister bought her this fancy one. It comes in a case and it looks like it's got like a, I don't want to touch it. Well, I can't touch it. And it looks like this. So it's different types of tongue scrapers where she take it and go like that. So it's different types. And then I have another metal one that's just long and you fold it and you curve down. Um, no, plastic. And that was the first one I had several years ago. Like, I think I got that in like 2016, 17. And I was using that for a while till I discovered the fact that stainless steel is so much better for you. So, now I have a stainless steel one. And this came in a two-pack. And she had the one and she lost it when we traveled. So, her sister ended up buying her this that come in a case with two. Um, so if you have children or uh, significant other or other family members, scrape that tongue. Your tongue needs to be pink, not white. You need to scrape that tongue. That has a lot to do with bad breath. Your tongue holds bacteria. M mind you, everything that you eat is sitting on your tongue. Everything that passes through your mouth is sitting on your tongue. It, it, it absorbs. That's the way you taste through the taste buds. So you want to scrape your tongue. If you feel like you're not like your breath or somebody, you might brush your teeth. So I'm like, oh, you still, yeah, get that bacteria and that funk off that tongue. Okay. So this is just a tip. How to keep your mouth smelling fresh and how to keep your mouth really clean. This should be part of your toothbrushing regimen. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Talk to me in the comments because I will talk back and I will see you guys.